Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am Hamadri. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. In this video, we will learn how to set up your first Appium project. For this Java-based project, I have used IntelliJ IDE. First I will show the IntelliJ setup. After that we will see how to create a Maven project and add Maven dependency. Once setup is ready I will create a sample class and run it. Now let's start with the IntelliJ setup. We will use the community edition for IntelliJ. To download the IntelliJ setup, open a browser and type IntelliJ Community Edition Download. Choose the first link with the domain name www.jetbrains.com. Now click on Download under Community. It will start downloading the setup. Wait for the download to be completed. Follow the video for easy understanding. Once download is completed, open the downloaded folder and click on the .exe file to start installation setup. Just wait for the setup to come up. This installation is like any other installation. Now click on next. You can see the screen like this. Now choose the following options from checkboxes, add bin folder to the path created desktop shortcut for IntelliJ Community Edition and .java from create association once all the checkboxes are selected, click in next to proceed further. Now click on install to start the installation. Installation part takes some time. Please wait for the installation to be completed. Meanwhile we can discuss some of the good features IntelliJ has, as per IntelliJ official website, it supports multiple like languages like Java, Kotlin, Groovy, Scala etc. It supports framework like Android, Swings, JavaFX. It supports build tool like Maven, Gradle, and I has integrated developer tools like debugger, decompiler, bytecode viewer, test coverage, we can use Git, GitHub, Subversion for version controlling. What I feel interesting in IntelliJ is resolving dependency is very easy, and its auto-suggestion and decompiler helps a lot. OK now let's come back to the installation. Check if your installation is completed or not. Click on Finish and your setup is done. You can see a shortcut added in your screen for IntelliJ. Click on IntelliJ icon to open the IDE. First time it will ask you to accept the term and condition. Just accept it and continue. After that again it will prompt for data sharing. It is up to you. I have selected no. Now we will see how to create your first Maven project. Click on new and a new window will open, choose Maven. As you can see in the screen, IntelliJ did not find any JDK in my system. You can choose Add JDK if you have installed the JDK. Do not select a JRE path. You might also face the same problem if you do not have JDK installed in your system. You might get error like this. It takes only JDK path otherwise it will show you error like this.
As I said earlier in the video, installing any dependency is very easy in IntelliJ. You simply click on Download JDK. It will download the JDK for you. Wait for the download to be completed. Once it is downloaded, click on Next. Now your Maven project is going to create. Give a name for your project. As you can see in the screen, I have given the project name as Appium Tutorial. Your project has been created. Now we will see how we can add dependency in the Maven. As you can see in the screen, a palm file has opened up. Here we need to add the dependency. First we need to add Appium Client Library. So open a browser and search for Appium Maven. Open the Java Client Maven repository. Just copy the dependency tags as shown in the video. Go to your project and create a tag called Dependencies. And we need to paste the dependency here. As I have done in this video, do the same. Now in order to download the dependency go to the project right click choose Maven and then choose Reload Project. It will start downloading all the dependent jars for you. Let's wait for the downloads to be completed. Now I will create a sample class and test if our setup is correct or not. To create the class, go to SRC, Main Java and right click. Click on New and choose Java class. Give a name of your Java class. I have given the name as Testing. You can see that your class has been created successfully. Now try to use test ng annotation at before class at test. If the jar is added it will import it. For me you can see it is not added. If you follow the video, you will see that IntelliJ has identified TestNG is not added to the class path. So it is asking to add it. Just add the jar and all of your error will be gone. I have just created two methods and run the program. You can see that it ran successfully.
With this, we have completed our today's session. I will see you in the next video. I hope you are enjoying our videos. Don't forget to share your success stories with us. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube Trends, Twitter Trends, Scientific Calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.